Today, Ashley's gonna do a box opening of this HP printer. You will hear the air conditioner in the background. We are upstairs and there's no central air upstairs. No central air or there's no heat up here. So we have the air conditioner on. Sorry, you'll hear that in the background. We're um, not turning it off. <laughs> we, yeah, we're not gonna turn it off because it's really, really hot outside. So Ashley, tell us about your printer. So I just went to Best Buy and I bought the HP Envy Photo. This is the 7855 Enhanced Productivity. Um, it has, the reason I got this, we have a printer, but the printer we have only hooks up to dad's computer. And I print a lot. I do most of the printing at our house, I would say, um, by far. And so it's very annoying. Whenever I want to print something, I have to email it to him. He has to download it. He has to print it and then I have to come get it's just a pain it's a huge pain um, it doesn't sound that bad but he has to be awake he has to be home they have to, their his computer has to be available it's just tedious and so I wanted to buy my own I bought this one because it actually has the instant ink capability with it um, and this is not sponsored in any way I wish it was but the instant ink will be good for me as a teacher because I print a lot of things for school here at home in color so what they do is you sign up for a plan and you can look up look it up online and they'll have more details but they have different plans online where you can spend like two dollars a month and print 300 sheets or you can get ten dollars a month and print like 700 sheets or something like that um or maybe 300 i don't know um but for that one monthly price they send you ink whenever you run out so this compute this printer has some kind of sensor or something in it to where it can um sense how much ink you have and they'll send you more when you run out even if that's tomorrow even if that's next month it's just all that monthly price for the amount of pages you print it's not based on color or black and white it's purely based on the number of pages so i wanted that um another reason i got this one they had like 10 printers at best buy to choose from i chose this one because it has um copy scan fax it has an automatic document feeder there's an app that goes with it um it has wi-fi it's bluetooth it prints from a usb which i wanted um and it does high quality pictures so i went ahead and bought this one it has four and a half stars and it has thousands of reviews across the different websites um so now we're gonna open, we're gonna open. how much did it cost oh it was about 200 dollars. okay okay And was that about a, the average price of what they had? No, or? they had, it was a wide variety to be honest. Like they had one, I think it was only $70. But it was really not gonna do good color copies. And if I'm gonna print and color and pay to have colored ink sent to my house, it's gonna be, like I'm gonna get a nice color printer. Right, um, those are probably your ink right there. Um, you also get with this one a three month trial of the instant ink. Um, so I think that's what's in here is probably the code for that. So I'll put that to the side. Um, here's the cable to give it power. Here's the ink for the first set. And Mama, I might actually need to. Yeah, I'm gonna need to. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna help her out <laughs> get this. I'm gonna help her get this out and we'll be back. Okay, all all she did was literally pull it out of the box. I held it for her. It was just a two-person job. It's in, it this comes bag. in this bag. Which seems a little unnecessary. And then it's wrapped in plastic. And it's wrapped in plastic. We might actually have to move this coffee table over there. Um because it's gonna plug us. Okay. I don't think I've ever bought a printer that was wrapped in plastic like that. But I've never, I've bought, never a, bought a printer before. But I've never bought a two hundred dollar printer either. I think your daddy and I usually spend like we usually buy one of the seventy dollar ones. <laughs> if I'm just, I feel like if I'm going to be printing in color stuff to keep for my classroom. I oh, I understand. Nice. Yeah. Um. So this is what it looks like. And we probably will uh, move this coffee table, but yeah. so that we can be close to an outlet. I think these are just directions that I'll have to look at. And this is just a sticker talking about the instant ink. A lot of teachers must use that. They do, yes. That's where I heard about it was at work. Okay, so then you can open this and it's got a good protective film on it. And it's got this, I don't know what this is. Is that maybe where you stick your ink in or something? 
Oh, that comes off. Okay. Ah. Yes, something happens here. Yeah, that's where you put your ink in. Okay, this one is now, tricolor. Just so you all know, if Kevin was doing this box opening, he would say, now I'm going to read the directions. No, your girl's just going to go for it. <laughs> and if that book was 20 pages long, he would read the entire thing from cover to cover, because that's Kevin. I'm just going to see if it fits. Nope, doesn't go that way. <laughs> yeah, Ashley's, you don't want Ashley working on your car. <laughs> up, up. Boom, no directions. Ashley would be the one with extra pieces. Extra pieces. <laughs> yeah. Oh, we don't need these. <laughs> Kick them under there. It's pretty self-explanatory. Yeah. Even if well, it doesn't, though. But if you want to do anything special, I I'll, think... I'll look. I'll yeah. glance. This one takes the 64 ink. I don't know what that means, but it does. Okay. Is there anything that you uh, need to print that you could show us like an example of what it I looks can. like? I can. I can print something. Okay. That doesn't feel like it's close. Oh, yeah. It's uh, okay. So now... I don't know what goes there. Paper? Yeah. Why does it slide like that? That, that would probably be in the directions. Yeah, we don't read those. Okay. Maybe we're gonna... Yeah, it's showing it right there on the back of that book. I'll get some paper. So you open the drawer, and it's got... This piece is the white piece, and this piece is the gray piece, but it's got this extra thing. Oh, wait. Wait, wait, wait. See, I don't know what that means. Is that photo paper? Oh, yeah, and that looks like... Because, see, that has those metal, metallic pieces and so that has that on there. Where does this ring? Does it just go? It shows yeah, I think it just goes it right there. Go in there. It won't go. Oh. This is fake news. Oh wait. Oh. You did something. I don't know what it is. I bet that is a photo paper oh! or something. Oh uh, I got it now. Then these come apart to hold the paper straight in place. So if you have a smaller piece it centers it to where it prints perfectly. I'm smart. I can do this. Boom. And then if you press this thing, this came out somehow a second ago. I don't know. So now you have to plug it in. <laughs> yeah, this came out a second ago. I don't know how I did it. Okay, so now I'm going to plug it in, I guess. It is so incredibly hot. Okay. Oh, also, Mom found this. This is where the USB thing is. It had a piece of blue tape. That's all the only reason mom saw it. It's because there was a piece of blue tape over this. And I told Ashley, I said, it's like they put blue tape wherever they want to get your attention. They put blue tape. So now what? Now I turn it on. You have to hook your computer up to it or something? Ah, it's happening. Okay, yes, I'm gonna get it all out. So it's working in there. Um, they came up with a touch screen for options for languages. I'm gonna click English. Confirm that I speak English. I'm in the United States. Okay to continue. Close the tray, touch OK. Done. Calibrating the printer. Says, calibration has been completed successfully. Cartridges are now calibrated for best print quality. And this is what, this is the sheet that it printed out. All these different lines. And so Ashley's looking for a picture that, something that she might use <laughs> um, so that she can print it out. Because we want to see what the color looks like, but I also don't want to use all the color. In yeah, we don't, I don't want her to use her, all of her ink just to show us you know how it works but i still would like to show you all something because you know this Here is an go. unboxing video so so it says calibration okay 
To print from your mobile device on computer, visit, so I have to do, visit 123hp.com. And install the HP Smart app or software. Add the printer within HP Smart on each device. Okay, so I'm on my laptop. Internal error. It is 123, oh, 123.hp.com. That's the problem. So I was up here for probably another 30 minutes playing around with this. I ended up having to install some kind of doctor that I found on the website. Um, it did something, it updated my whole computer like four times, it took forever. Um, but it works now, in theory. So it actually printed this out, um, but do you want me to print another? No, we, you don't have to print another uh, one. It, it just printed it out. Um, it printed it perfectly. The colors look beautiful. It's very clean and crisp. Um, I'm very, very happy with it. So that's my printer. <laughs>